gonna win, yeah, we're taking over. Come on! Dude, come on. I love my girl. She looks good. Come on. I know what you're thinking, anyway. So here comes the entertainment. Here come that entertainment, though, right? Uh, a long way. Here we go. Let's do this, man, before I, before I start to get that chalk, me do this first. Anyway. I'm going to do this first before I... I'm going to do this one right here. Because I can already... I can already feel... I can already feel the spirit welling up in me, but I'm going to do this. I'm going to bring it back. This is what we're going to do. I normally go a little bit first. But we better just start this one off with prayer. And the Lord hath blessed Abraham in all things. Let me just do this. Let me pause this. I'm going to make one point of clarity right here, man. Because as soon as y'all heard me say blessed, I know what y'all start thinking. Oh, uh, here they go with the church stuff, man. Talking about blessings and stuff, man. Where my blessings at and stuff like that. I pray I didn't get no blessings, man. I didn't get no money or nothing like that. You're confused, man. Why would you think, man, that this Lord that created everything, man, is dealing with what this dude is dealing with when he printed money out? What? Why? That's what y'all deal in, man. It's something that, that y'all created. That y'all hustling, grinding, committing your whole life to. So as soon as somebody say blessings, man, I know what you heard before. Oh, he gonna try to tell me how I can spin around three times and clap, shuck and jive, man, and then I'm gonna get some money tomorrow. Never, man. Not for me. Big facts. Blessings, man. Every time you hear him refer to blessings, man, they talking about the purpose that was put on your life. If you ain't seen the blessing yet, that's on you. See? You walking around, I haven't been blessed yet by God. I haven't felt this hand. Pick up your purpose, man. Be a man. The blessing is in the purpose, man. The fact that you won't live a vain life. That's the blessing, man. That when you come and go, they're going to be like, that's the one, man, who came and changed my life, man. That's the one who poured into me. That's my brother who cared about me. We used to know about that in the hood, man. Back when I was coming up. Man, they used to be cats in the hood, man. Cats like my uncle and them. They used to come up into the hood, man. I was a young cat, man. They would come through and take care of everybody, man. No, no, I know, man. They used to take care of everybody, man. Anybody had problems, need something fixed, need something done, I got it. No, I'm not, see, I know y'all keep going back to that, man. I'm not talking about no money, man. All y'all sitting around, man, I don't got no money, man. No, man, it wasn't about money all the time. Man. People come through the hood, oh, you need that, you need that take care of, can I help you out with that, man? This old lady, you need to grass cut. They came through the hood, they took care of everybody, man. Amen. Some of the young cats, man, we try to play football and stuff, man. Hey, I'm going to go up there and talk to the coach and get you, man, because let them get you a uniform because you can't even afford a uniform. But it ain't about money, man. I'm going to talk to you, man, and man, and tell them what you want. That's how they used to do it, man. Real kings, man. The keeper of the sheep mentality, man. That's what I'm talking about. Purpose, man. None of them live vain. That's where the blessing is at. And they knew that, man. When the young cats be like, man, that's like my uncle, man. He took care of me. That's the blessing there. When you live in front of them, man, the next generations, man, they remember the work you put in. That's the blessing, man. That's not enough. Amen. That's enough. Well, that's not enough. Well, they didn't wander, man. So he said that they blessed him all the days of his life. Meaning, every day when he woke up, man, his life was filled with purpose. You see that? No, not like me, 
man. Not like us today. Some days we wake up, we ready to get at it, man. Once in a while. A blessed day. But there, weeks, man, on end, months, man, you doing nothing, man. You waking up, nothing, man. Nothing planned for your brother. Nothing planned for your community, man. Day after day after day, that's us, man. It says Abraham, every single day, man, was blessed. Imagine it. Imagine that, man, to wake up every single day for a purpose, man. I can see the vanity of man of some of y'all life has come to bear on your shoulders, man. I'm looking out at the sea of faces and shoulders slumped. I'm looking out at you, man. After seeing your shoulders slump, man, the vanity coming to bear, man, when you feel that depression kick in. Pick up your crown, man. Pick up your crown. So he had blessed him in all things. Whatever he touched, man. Purposeful. He found purpose in everything that his hand touched. The one who got the purpose in his hand. Same thing you said. Man, what if I get frustrated, man? I meet some haters. I meet some hardships along my way. This is the answer, man. Watch, man. Watch, man. Watch. This is his answer on it, man. If you didn't hear him. I already know that you might get frustrated, man, but it's the effort that I'm looking for, man, not the outcome. This is what he said. If she don't come with you, fine, man. I can deal with that. But is you going to go and try to get it done? Look, man, I'm trying to give y'all something, man, for real, because they got y'all swallowed up whole in the belly of the beast. And they're telling you this, man, straight to your face. You're nothing, man, if you don't win. You got it? You ain't nothing if you can't win. But on the win, man, do you even know what it is? They keep moving the ball. I mean, come on, man. Somebody in here defines for me what a win is in this life. Please, man. Keep going. Stand in the fight. Huh? Stand in the fight. The effort, man. The effort. If they tell you, man, oh, you win if you make uh, six figures, man. Then some of y'all went out, you win if you got a degree from college, man. Then some of y'all went out, you got the degree that you won. You win if you graduate from high school, man. You win if you got your diploma, you won. They keep moving the ball, man. Listen to me. You went and got six figures, man, then they moved it up. They said seven figures now. Eight figures now, man. You thought you could be just a millionaire? Now they talking about all you think is relevant is billionaires. Yes or no? Yes. It's not hard to achieve. You in the bellies of the beast, man, looking at the outcome. This is what the Lord said, man. This is a trick, bro. I'm only looking for the effort. You feel me? You're gonna face the frustrations, man. Get after a real purpose, man. Something that's keeping under the sheep, man. Developing your brother, caring about your fellow man, about the community, put it out there. You'll be faced with frustrations, man. So what? The effort is all that matters, man. Outcomes, man. Forget about it, man. Effort oriented. Y'all hear me? Now, what they told you in the corporate world when you go in there, they got a phrase now. You will see it. Whenever you go out there, man, you go to get a job, you go get a nigga say, listen, this is a phrase, outcome oriented. That's what they want. That's what they'll tell you. Wrong, man. Effort oriented, man. That's what it's about. So the servant goes out and gives it a mighty effort, man. He won right there. This is the way, man, of someone who's going to prepare the way for others. Effort, man. Effort is all that's required.
That's all. But this is what he said. This is what he said. Here's the key to it. One key, and I'm off of it. One key to that whole thing. So you won't get swallowed up by the unreasonable expectations of the worldly figures who are doing nothing anyway. They're not doing nothing anyway, man, but causing chaos, causing folks to murder one another. Those unreasonable expectations will swallow you up. But here's something that he gave you. Look, once you put the effort in, the only thing that we're telling you <laughs> don't look back, man. Don't look back, man. That's what he said. Listen, don't you or my son, don't take them back there. If you go and you're feeling your effort and frustration, keep it moving, man. Don't go back. Don't spend no time. They gonna want to say, oh, look, you failed. Don't spend. They gonna say, oh, you lost. He says, I saw the effort, man. You won. Here's the key to it, though, so you don't get swallowed up. Don't spend no time, man. When you know you put good purpose in, I'm not talking about repentance. I'm talking about you making mistakes, you, you sinning, you know you're doing something wrong, reflect on those mistakes and get better. But when you're engaged in purpose, man, things don't turn out the way you think they should. That's different. When you're engaged in real purpose, man, you're really committed to work. Things don't turn out the way you think they should. Don't get down on it. You feel me? We seen the effort. Don't get down on it. We saw the effort. The way of a preparer, which everyone in here is going to find yourself in the shoes of a preparer. To help somebody else, man. To open it up for someone else. This is what this dude is doing. He's bringing the bride to the son. And then, this. It's not for everybody. I don't care. That's not what we came for. I came for the bride. No, I didn't come for everyone. I was looking for at least just one. The bride, man. But when they go in, everything is well. They're going to move forward. Listen to this, man. You heard this one before. This is what they say. Everybody seems like it's okay around them, even some family members, even some friends, people that they've been around before. But then they pop up with the delay, man. This is automatic. If you don't understand it by now, you probably never understand it. When it's time for you to move forward, man, into real greatness, understand this, man. Most of the folks that you've been dealing with at the end of the day are going to cause it delay. You can accept it if you want, but this one you knew already. I didn't have to preach it to you. Amen? Amen. And so here it is. I told you that when she came, man, and she actually, the mission about to be complete, she actually pulled the veil down. Remember that? But every word, man, every stroke of a letter. Everything, man, will bear out to the end of the scripture, man. Understand this. <laughs> understand this. Christ, man. So y'all understand this concept. Christ. The son who comes, man, to be married to the bride. This one, man, who creates the perfect sacrifice. Understand the mentality of this. I'll come and live my life in such a way that every single day, everything that I do is going to be spent in sacrifice to someone else. The perfect husband, man. Yes or no? It's a lot of men in here. Some women. But if you a woman, man, if you understand the concept of marriage even, even for you men, the perfect husband, if you can name it, if you ask anyone, they'll tell you if they got their hands screwed on straight. What would he be like? I know what today you go out there, they're going to say, oh, he's going to have a lot of money. Stupid, man. This one defines what the perfect husband is. One who comes and says every day, every hour, everything that I do, every thought that I have, I'm going to spend my life in perfect sacrifice for my wife. For my family. That's the perfect husband. 
That's the idea of the Christ. And when he comes, that's exactly what he does. Listen to this, man. John the Baptist came in the way. The we all get old and the young get stronger. May take a week and it may take longer. They got the guns, but we got the numbers. Gonna win, yeah, we're taking over.